Elena Georgieva, and I'm an associate professor in molecular biology at the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences. I'm also guest and lead editor at several scientific journals, as well as a reviewer to many more. I'm, as a scientist, often puzzled by what type of paper I should choose to write for my academic career. Of course, we have to be aware that there are more than 15 different types of academic papers. All of them are used at different stages of our career and also have different purposes for dissemination, communicating of our results, our research ideas, our overview of the scientific literature, etc. Let's start with the most common type of paper that very often we have to write during our academic development. Especially in the STEM disciplines, we have to know that the research papers are the commonest type of papers that are written by everyone who is specializing in this field or is pursuing an academic career. What is the research paper? The research paper contains mainly our own results, but it should be structured in a very particular way. Each research paper has an abstract, which is a very brief overview of the whole topic that we discussed together with our results. It also followed by an introduction part in which we make an overview of the literature on the topic. Also, we strike on specific topics that are more close to our work and make references to other authors' work. We make our strong statement, thesis statement in this introduction part in which we in introduce the problem that we discuss and approach with our experimental research. Of course, we cite some of the research experimental activities that we have performed and also draw our results. After that, follow the materials and methods sections in which we describe all experimental and methodological approach that we have used. Also, uh, this part is followed by the results part in which we have in a very brief, descriptive way to present our results. We use tables, we use figures, we use any type of material that can in introduce our results but also can be reproduced by other authors too. And we have the discussion part, which is um, almost the last part of the research paper, in which we discuss our ideas and research in the light of the existing literature, which is very important to show the reader that we not only know our research and our topic, but we also can perform different types of analysis of our research in the light of the existing literature and published by other authors. And we have the conclusion part. The research paper is for this, to share our results, but also to discuss them in the light of the existing literature. And it's very important when we are prepared to write a research paper to know the requirements of the journal that we would like to publish our work there, because different journals have different requirements for the structure, but the content is generally more focused on our own research results and is discussed in the light of other authors' results. 